Hello, good morning. So I'll be starting with my next topic, and uh, those are tenses. Again, as uh, we already have done tenses in school, we use tenses on a very, very regular basis. That is every day. And uh, in what tense we are talking is very important because it changes your entire context of a conversation. I cannot be expecting somebody to talk to me in the present and uh, talk about. of course can be talking about the past but you have to know the difference are you talking in the past then please uh, speak throughout in the past tense if you're talking in the present please you do not be using was or were because that does not make sense so if you stick to one tense please uh, do that and in the same context uh, let us just see what the tenses are about and how you should be using it correctly especially when you're facing an interview or especially we, when you have your written exams so of course as we all know that there are three kind of tenses broadly that uh, those are present tense past tense and future tense there are more variations to it which i'll be dealing with and let us just simplify and let us just revise so again tenses most part of uh, that is the most important part of our english language as i have already mentioned it before and to make your sentence meaningful you have to be speaking in a particular tense do not just go haywire and do not just uh, start speaking in any tense uh again i'm going to read through this i have tried to explain it in the most simplest of the ways so uh, for you it is uh, easier to understand so let us just start a uh, reading through these slides we have been reading and practicing the use of tenses since the school going days the tense are the most important part of english language if you wish to write a correct sentence or wish to say anything to anyone you need to express the idea in the right form of tenses english language has three main time divisions that is the past present and future expressed by the tenses each tense is subdivided to express other aspects within its general time tenses form the backbone of the english language the tense which is most appropriate to express the idea should be used else the statement or the question would express something opposite to what you wanted to state or write correct use of tense will imply the use of correct form of verb with proper auxiliaries so it's uh, the same that i have been telling you people you have to make a statement you have to make the correct statement you want to ask a question you need to ask the correct question most important out of all this is that your tense should be correct next read the following sentences carefully birds fly in the air so it denotes a present tense my brother flew to england last week it says that something happened in the past i shall fly a kite on sunday you're telling that something that is about to happen in the future the tense of a verb shows the time when an action takes place in order to show at what stage an action is each of the three tenses has been subdivided into four heads let's see what these are okay uh, so most people uh, are afraid to do tenses most people uh, fear to do tenses but i think it is the easiest form of grammar that you can have so present has a four parts that is a simple present the present continuous the present perfect and the present perfect continuous i'll be giving you some clue words so that you would know how to use these tenses all right past tense past again has four parts past simple past continuous past perfect and past perfect continuous next future future again future simple future continuous future perfect and future perfect continuous so uh, these are the kind of tenses that we have let us just uh, this is the chart that you have so what i'll be doing i have taken one verb and let us just putting these verbs into all these kinds of uh, tenses for example let us start with the past tense if i want to be using the past uh, i learned in the simple past tense i just use i learned if i want to be using it in the continuous tense i use i was learning if i want to be using it in the perfect past perfect tense i will be using i had learned and if i want to be using in the past perfect continuous tense it becomes i had been learning let us move on to the present tense if i want to use the same verb in the simple present tense i use i learn in the present continuous i use i am learning in the present perfect tense i use i have learned and in the present perfect continuous tense i use i have been learning 
Now let us come to the future tense. If I want to use future tense in the simplest of the way, I use I will learn. If I want to use future in the future continuous tense, I'll be using I will be learning. If I want to be using future in the perfect form, I'll use I will have learned. And lastly, if I want to use future in the future perfect continuous tense, I'll be using I will have been learning. All right. So these are your few words. You know when do we have to use if it is in the continuous, you always have to remember the ing is a compulsory part of it. It is very, very mandatory to be using ing. Let us go into the detail of it so I can explain it to you better. Let us see one tense at a time. So let's start with the past tense, simple past tense. It indicates an action that took place before the present moment and that has no real connection with the present time. For example, he danced in the function. The action took place in the past, is finished and is completely unrelated to the present. He flew to London yesterday. All right. So this is simple, as simple as it can get. Note, the verb flew is an irregular verb which does not take ed in the past tense like regular verbs. The form of simple past tense is is, that is is, verb plus ed. All right. So you have to take note of the regular verbs and the irregular verbs some people have the habit of putting ed to everything that is in the past uh, i will tell you for example there have been people who use uh, ate as uh, let's just take eat as a verb and they use uh, eated as the past tense which is wrong eat is an irregular verb and eat becomes eight all right so always take note of that for that you will have to know a lot of grammar you will have to read a lot of sentences and just go through the irregular verbs and how it is to be used in the past or the future or the present tense past perfect tense indicates an action in the past that had been completed before another time or event in the past for example he had exercised before it started to rain he had slept before I came back from the market. Note, the form of past perfect tenses is had plus verb. Past participle form or the third form of the verb. Again, a clue word is that when you know that it is a past perfect tense, there has to be had to it. All right. Uh, otherwise, it does not become a past perfect tense. So please just note down these clue words as it is going to be uh, easier for you. Past continuous tense indicates an action going on at some time in the past or an action in the past tense that is longer that is no longer in duration than another action in the past for example it was getting darker the light went out while they were reading note the form of past continuous tenses was or verb plus ing so a was or a were is important when you're using a past continuous tense with the verb having or adding an ing to it again a clue so uh, that is how you use past continuous whenever you hear something that is in the continuous or you have to put it in the continuous tense ing becomes an integral part of the verb past continuous past perfect continuous tense indicates an action in the past that took place before another time or event in the past and continued during the second event time point in the past for example, at that time, he had been writing a novel for two months. He had been exercising when I had called. The form of past perfect continuous tenses had plus been plus verb plus ing. So past perfect continuous tense has to have a had been or has been and the verb form plus the ing so just note down the difference every part of the sentence every part of the tense has a different uh, cue to it sometimes you just have to use was or were sometimes you have to use have or had sometimes you have to use only the ing form and sometimes you have to be using the had been form to it let us come to the present tense simple present indicates an action that is generally true or habitual that is it took place in the past continue to take place in the present and will take place in the future this tense is used to denote a habitual action for instance he walked to school general tooth truths for instance the sun rises in the east honesty is the best policy a future event that is a part of fixed timeable a uh, timetable for instance the match starts at nine o'clock note the form of simple present tense is verb 
infinitive without to and agreeable with the subject so not only uh, in the simple present tense you are telling us about something that is happening in the pro in the uh, moment but also when it is something that is a routine that is a part of your routine or it is a habitual action that happens or some general to truths like the sun rises in the east so, so i hope this is simpler present perfect tense indicates an action that has been completed some time before the present moment with a result that affects the present situation for example he has finished the work for example he has slept note the form of present perfect tense is has have plus verb that is past participle form of third form of the verb so the present perfect tense has to have either has or have all right the simple uh, present tense did not have that you just put the verb in its most natural form but when it becomes a present perfect tense you have to add a has or have let us move ahead present continuous tense indicates an action that is taking place at the moment of speaking for example she is walking i am studying note the form of present continuous tense is or am are in the ing form so again uh, just please 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 take note of this that whenever you are using a continuous tense as i have said before you have to be using is am or are because that it shows that it is in the present tense plus the verb that is in the ing form something that shows that it is still happening the moment uh, that you are speaking to uh, simultaneously or parallelly it is just happening next present perfect continuous tense indicates an action that started in the past and is continuing at the present for example he has been sleeping for an hour note the form of present perfect continuous tense is has have plus been plus verb ing so as i have said i have made it uh, a little simple uh, on your level so that you are able to understand what does every tense require to go along with so the present perfect continuous tense again it is a perfect tense it is a continuous tense and it is in the present uh, tense so it has to have has have plus been plus the verb that is in the ing form for example he has been sleeping i have been adding has been to it and sleeping the sleep verbs goes uh, with the verb ing all right let us move on to the future tense simple future tense it indicates an action that will take place after the present time and that has no real connection with the present time for example she will have she will visit her ailing grandmother soon he will walk home note the form of simple future tense is will or shall plus the verb so here now let us come to the future tenses the simple future that is the most basic future tense he will walk home you will have to add a shall or a will something that uh, you say that is going to happen in the future uh, so that just carries will or shall along with the verb future perfect tense it indicates an action in the future that will have been completed before another time or event in the future for example by the time we arrive he will have studied the form of future perfect tense is will or shall plus have plus the verb past participle form or third form of the verb so uh, here the future perfect tense will have will or shall as usual because it is in the future tense and along with that will have the have a word of it and along with that the verb uh, the verb form of it so please note down that the future perfect tense goes like will have or shall have plus the verb all right so again simpler let us uh, move on to the future continuous tense indicates an action in the future that is no longer in duration than another action in the future for example he will be walking when it starts to rain note the form of future continuous tense is will shall be plus verb plus ing so here it becomes different will and shall as a rule it is going to go because it is in the future tense it will add on to having be plus your verb the verb would be with the ing form all right so the example is he will be walking or he shall be walking 
so i have add, added a b to it and the walk goes walking all right so this is what the future continuous tense is i'm sure everybody has realized that whatever tense we are using whether it is the present tense or the past tense or the future tense whenever we are talking about the continuous tense the ing form is over there all right so whenever you hear that you have to put it or, or you have to recognize a form of a tense and you see that uh, there is a continuous tense or there is an ing form to it you would automatically understand that it this is in the continuous uh, tense which tense is it that you will have to figure it out whether past present or simple okay so let us come to the fourth one future perfect continuous tense indicates an action in the future that will have been continuing until another time or event in the future for example he will have been exercising an hour at 2 note the form of future perfect continuous tense is will or shall have been plus verb ing whenever now continuous only carries the ing form whenever it becomes perfect continuous whether it is for the simple present whether it is for the present or the past or the future and it is in the perfect continuous or you see that your sentence has a have been or has been or had been then you know that it is in the perfect continuous tense all right these are some cue words guys that you need to take note of okay let us uh, just go through them in a little more detail thus the tense of a verb does not show the time of an action or event alone it shows the state of that action also the simple present is also called present simple or present tense we use it to talk about present actions and events that take place repeatedly or one after the other facts and future actions that are determined by time table or a schedule The present continuous also called as present progressive is a verb tense which is used to show that an ongoing action is happening now either at the moment of uh, speech or now in a larger sense the present continuous can also be used to show that an action is going to take place in the near future The present perfect tense is used to indicate a link between the present and the past. In another words, the time of the action is before now but not stated. In fact, most of the time the result interests us more than the action itself. This tense forms by has or have plus the past participle. It forms generally by adding ed or d to the root of the verb. For instance, talked leaned vibed mixed and many more however the english language does not does contain a few verbs that have irregular past participles for example done one eaten gone thought and more all right so as it is uh, we have already spoken about there are irregular verbs and there are regular verbs so you have to see which verb is regular and which verb is irregular if it is an irregular verb you will not be adding an ed to it all right the verb changes its form so please uh, just decide accordingly because i'm sure that all of you all know what uh, are regular and what are irregular verbs and how do they function next the present perfect continuous also called present perfect progressive is a verb tense which is used to show that an action started in the past and has continued up to the present moment the present perfect continuous usually emphasizes duration or the amount of time that an action has been taken place past tense verbs are used to indicate an action event or condition that has happened in the past past continuous tense represents an ongoing action of the past it uses was or were and ing is added with the verb as i have already told you if it is in the past continuous tense you have to be using an ing and also uh, it becomes uh, you have to be adding a was or were to it example i was writing articles on different topics i was i have already added a was to it and write becomes ing all right so i was writing was indicates that it is in the past tense other conditions where past continuous tense is used are to show that someone is in the middle of an action example i was calling him when we came home okay uh, so it is something that happened in the past but uh, a past that was not very very far it was just a recent past all right so something that happened just a while ago so this is how we use the past continuous tense 
past perfect tense the past perfect tense in a sentence or conversation describes an event that happened in the past before another event in the simple past tense was completed in the past the situations where a past perfect tense is used are to indicate an event that has occurred and been completed in the past meenu had borrowed money from the bank to buy her new car all right so here i have been using had because it is something that happened in the past and it was a perfect past tense so uh, and borrow become borrows okay so again very simple once you follow and once you know where to use which tense where to use had where to use was where to use were it is going to be simpler past perfect continuous tense this tense is used to describe actions that were going on in the past up until another action in the past happened they are often used in the following situations for an action that has occurred over a period of time having begun in the past to describe an action which state started and finished in the past before another action past action it is also regularly used in the reported speech where the present perfect continuous tense becomes past perfect continuous tense okay let us come to the last part of it and that is a future tense future tense depicts an action that happens in the future or is likely to happen in the future it may also express the speaker's attitude to a future event again future we already know something that has not yet happened it is going to be happen maybe in the recent past uh, uh, future or maybe sometime later in the future future continuous tense the future continuous tense depicts an action that is likely to happen in the future and continue for an expected length of time it is formed using will be plus past participle the tense is used to denote an action that will be in progress at some point in the future for example she will be having dinner with us tomorrow future pre uh, perfect tense the future perfect tense depicts an action that will be finished by a particular time in the future the tense is formed using will plus have plus past participle of the verb that it is used to depict the duration of an action that starts before and continues up to another action or time in the future for example at 5 pm i will have been out in the market for 3 hours to depict an action that will finish before a certain time in the future but exactly when that happens is not known for example by 11 am i will have completed my assignment all right so again clear future perfect continuous tense the future perfect continuous tense depicts an action that will continue up until a point in the future it is formed using will have been plus present participle it is used to depict the duration of an action that continues up to another point in the future for example by the time you arrive i will have exercise for an hour to denote an action that finishes just before another time or action in the future for example when i meet you i will have been dancing so i'll be tired okay so now uh, i'm sure after we have been doing this you will have a lot of time to practice uh, the tenses so please kindly just practice this and again as i have said if any doubts just take note of it and uh, we can clear that uh, in the next classes that we meet all right so i hope tenses are clear to you guys so i'll meet you in my next class thank you